Hi, I'm Marna from the Ashe County Library, and I'm here to let you know what's going on with new services this week. This week is Beast Week, and we're going to explore the magical, unbelievable, and amazing beasts of the world with virtual and at-home activities. Our activity kit for this week is full of beastly fun. First of all, your activity sheet, which will tell you what it all is in there and what to do with them. We have our STEM activity is build a, build a T-Rex. And what you're going to do is you'll fill in his bones with Q-tips. The Q-tips in coloring sheet with Nessie. Sucker and succotash. There's the succotash recipe. And all the things that you need to make a box out of a paper plate. The kits are available at the library while supplies last. Be sure to visit our website for online activities. We have Maker Monday at home on t at 2 p.m. On Tuesday at 2, author Catherine Leslie will pay a virtual visit. On Wednesday, we have Stories and Songs at 11 and Builder's Challenge at 2. On Thursday at 2, Miss Molly talks about mythical pets. And on Friday at 2, we will learn how to prepare Sasquatch Succotash. The library is full of books about beasts of all kinds, from a board book called In My Den About a Baby Bear's Day with a... With a Moving Baby Bear. And it's written by Sarah Gillingham. We have an easy book, an easy book about Gracie, a dancing dog who is looking for a home. Catherine Leslie, who wrote Gracie's story, will be visiting us at 2 o'clock on Tuesday. We Don't Eat Our Plasmids by Ryan T. Higgins. It's about Penelope Rex, and she is a young T Rex, and about how she learns how to make friends, and how not to make friends when she starts going to a school that is full of children. Delicious. Mercer Mayer has written a whole series of books about Little Critter. I'm not sure what he is, but you can find his adventures in picture books and in his reader. To learn about the tiny beasts who help create the soil we grow our food in, check out Compost Critters by Bianca Lottis. It's full of close-up photos of these tiny recyclers. I've always loved horses, and one of the best books I've ever read about horses is King of the Wind by Marguerite Henry. This is the story of Sham, an Arabian stallion who was sent to France to the king. But by the time he arrived, the hardships of the journey had hidden his value. If it hadn't been for the devotion of his horse boy, Agba, he never would have become the father of a great breed of horses. This is based on a true story. And there are so many more. Be sure and watch for a brand new theme next week. Bye.